What happens to us when we die? You know, that's a really big question and there's a lot of different aspects to it. I would say, to start with, from a practical point of view, what happens when we die really is determined by how we die, which is why in Buddhist practice, we place a huge emphasis on dying with a peaceful mind and helping other people die with a peaceful mind. And obviously our ability to die with a peaceful mind kind of largely depends on whether we've practiced keeping a peaceful mind during our life. If we die with a peaceful mind, our experiences through the death process will be predominantly pleasant and we'll find ourselves at, at, at least in a, in a, a life similar in, as in enjoyment to the one that we presently have, a, one, a life where we have access to spiritual opportunities and continue to grow. But if we die with an agitated mind, with an angry mind or with a mind that's grasping at this life, not, not able to let go, then we're likely to lose the kind of freedoms we've enjoyed in this life. Buddha talked in great detail about the death process and what happens between one life and the next and the different visions and so forth that, that we can experience. But what's most important is that we learn to have a peaceful mind which will be our guide through our death process to a fortunate future life.